The visual style of our modular assets is sci-fi. So that's futuristic metallic surfaces. And one of the key characteristics of this visual style is straight, clean, crisp lines. And since these are low res game assets, most of this kind of detail is being done with a bump map. Now here in Blender, you should know by now that we can paint a bump map in real time in the viewport, which is an excellent way to work, but it's hard to get those straight, clean lines with a freehand brush, which is the default brush and most of the functionality that you get with Blender painting. However, we can switch our stroke method. If we open up the stroke menu and choose line, now when we click and drag, we get the straight line that we're after. And we can be even more precise if I hit seven and five on the number pad to look at top orthographic. And let's switch our color to be an indentation. Color pick the texture over here on the right and then lower that value. If I now click and drag and then hold Alt as I'm dragging, you can see that that snaps to 45 degree increments. And so if we go 45 degrees here, just to give us a little beveled corner, and then click and hold Alt again, do this down the side, another 45 degree angle. And from here, let's break the symmetry by going 45 degrees up, cutting off that corner. We can start to get an interesting sci-fi shape, all with the characteristic clean, sharp lines. And then I can fill this in with the same color if over here in the UV image editor, I change the mode to paint, hit the T key to bring up our paint tools, and let's switch the brush to be fill. And here we have an additional option called fill threshold that we don't have in the 3D view. And if we color pick the color of our line, click in the middle, and let's set the strength up to 100 and try that again. We're just left with a very fine line that we can quickly paint out over here in the 3D view. So go back to texture draw and then just clean up this existing line. And now we've got a clean inset into the panel in bump map form. And for a little bit of final polish, let's add a couple rivets. And instead of clicking and dragging, I'll just click once here in the corners. And then let's go back to a dark color and add a couple in the interior. And just like that, with the line tool, we have very crisp, sharp sci-fi details as a bump map. For more techniques like this one, check out the Modeling Modular Assets course at cgcookie.com.